Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, today's first reading, we were listening about Jeremiah's prophecy. He prophesied, if God strongly inspires something, prophet must speak. Some days it may be pleasing to the people or not pleasing. Here, Jeremiah prophesied from the book of Jeremiah chapter 26, 11, we heard. After his prophecy, then the priests and the prophets said to the officials and all the people, this man deserves the sentence of death. He must be died because he is prophesied against this city as you have heard with your own ears. And it was a big problem. They want to kill him because he said it was not pleasing to them. And what Jeremiah said, make straight your way, amend your life. And that was the message as we read Jeremiah 26, 12. We heard Jeremiah 26, 12. He said, he spoke to all the officials and all the people saying, it is the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and on the city. And all the words you have heard. He said, it is God who told me. And next word he heard what he prophesied. He said, amend your life. Amend your ways and your doings. And they and obey the voice of the Lord. You are God. And the Lord will change his mind about the disaster that he has pronounced against you. So the Lord said, if you don't change your life, Amend your ways, disaster will come. If you change your life, it will not come. That was a message. So, dear sisters and brothers, when you stand for God, what will happen? Sometimes people may be against you, but God will be with you. Say, Amen. 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 All your family members are, you know, against you, community may be against you. If God is with you, that is enough. And think, all people are supporting you, all people, all your family members are with you. If God is not with you, what is the use? So when you stand for God, God will protect you. God will arrange everything in order for you. If you have that courage to take a step for God's word, arrange your life according to the God's voice, God will stand for you. God will arrange you. See here, we read um, Jeremiah 26, 24. Here, Ahikam came. Ahikam came to protect Jeremiah. You see, Jeremiah 26, 24, we read, but the hand of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, was with Jeremiah, so that he was not given over into the hands of the people to be put to death. So, this powerful person came, and he protected the life of Jeremiah. So, dear sisters and brothers, this is very important. When you stand for the word of God, when you stand for the truth, truth will protect you. And what is the truth? Truth is God himself. And look at the gospel. Today's gospel we heard, here, uh, here the Tetrarch was afraid and he was telling the people, it is John the Baptist whom I beheaded. John, uh, Matthew chapter 14, verse 1 onwards we read. And here was you know, perplexed because he was thinking that when he heard the uh, miracles and wonders about Jesus, he said that it is, it is John the Baptist. He was being raised from the dead. And dear sisters and brothers, when we do something against the word of God, against the truth, your conscience may speak against you. That is why he is so perplexed. He knew that it was not right. But John said it is the right thing. That is why he was so worried and he said, it is John whom I beheaded, he is raised from the dead. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And dear sisters and brothers, you cannot hide the truth. Truth will come out because truth is not a thing. It is not an idea. What is the truth? And uh, even Pilate asked Jesus, what is the truth? What is the truth? We read in the Gospel of St. John chapter 17, verse 17. John 17, 17, we read, Jesus said, Gospel of John chapter 17, 17, we read, Sanctify them in the truth, your word is 
truth repeat after me sanctify them in the truth sanctify them in the truth your word is 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 truth what is this word jesus himself that is why jesus said i am the truth i am the truth john chapter 14 6 john 14 6 we read jesus said to him jesus said to him i am the way and the truth i am the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me that means no one can go to heaven go to the father except through me means uh, through the word of god that is why jesus said you can pray lord lord and so many prayers and if you don't obey the word uh, you cannot go to the kingdom of heaven so it is very important dear sisters and brothers we obey the word of god you hear john the baptist also proclaimed the same word repent amend your life change your mind praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord and when jesus heard that john is being arrested jesus came jesus also came john was preaching the same thing prophets were preaching the same thing even we heard about the jeremiah and the last prophet in the old testament and the first prophet in the new testament john the baptist was preaching the same thing repent amend your life kingdom of god is at hand and that is why you know he said the truth and he had arrested him put him in the prison when jesus heard that john is being arrested jesus came we read matthew chapter 4 verse 12 gospel of saint matthew chapter 4 verse 12 we read jesus himself came now when jesus heard that john had been arrested he withdrew to galilee verse 14 13 we read matthew 4 13 we read he left nazareth and made his home in capernaum by the sea in the territory of zebulun and naphtali jesus came out of his home in nazareth and settled in capernaum because jesus heard that john is being arrested and he is in the prison so the word of god is not being proclaimed word of god is not preached so the desire of god word of god is being proclaimed and he is preached and people must hear amend their life go to heaven praise the lord praise the lord what is the desire of god what is the plan of god what is the desire of god this we read in the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 3 book of revelation 21:3 we we read and i heard a loud voice from the throne saying see the home of god is among mortals he will dwell with them he will dwell with them they will be his peoples and god himself will be with them so word of god says the desire of god is to be with his children to be with you that is why his name is immanuel means god is with us say amen amen and dear sisters and brothers even if people don't appreciate you if jesus appreciates that is enough praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord here you know john said the truth and he was put in the prison arrested and when immediately jesus came and he was appreciating john the baptist what jesus said gospel of saint matthew chapter 11 verse 11 when john said the truth jesus is appreciating him matthew 11 11 what jesus said truly i tell you among those born of women no one has arisen greater than john the baptist what jesus said you see jesus is appreciating when he was standing for the truth preached the truth he said the truth and jesus is appreciating him praise the lord praise the lord repeat after me this word of god matthew 11 11 truly i tell you truly i tell you among those born of women among those born of women no one has arisen no one has arisen greater than john the baptist greater than john the baptist again jesus said at the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he that means it is very important to reach to heaven be with the lord so what we must do the same thing jesus did same thing jesus did as we read in the book of acts of the apostles chapter 10 verse 38 acts 10:38 we read what jesus was doing 
Jesus was doing, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with the power. Holy Spirit and power. Now, when Holy Spirit and power came, what will happen? You will do in something good. If you do, if you want to speak something good, if you want to do something good, you need a Holy Spirit and power. That is why it is written, he went about to doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. So do good. Jesus was going doing good. That is why when uh, Cain committed sin, you know, he was jealous of his brother Abel. When Abel offered, God pleased in him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Both of them went to, the, uh, went to offer sacrifices and Cain was thinking like this. He collected some, all the he, all the potatoes, maybe cabbages and everything, he brought from his field. And he was thinking, for what I give all these things to the Lord? But Abel brought something good. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. And God placed in the sacrifice of Abel. And Cain was against him because of, he was jealous. And he said to his brother, come, let us go to the field. And when they went to the field, he killed his brother. Because it is revealed that God placed in the sacrifice of Abel. And later, uh, God was, what, what God said, what God said to Cain, Genesis chapter 4 verse 7, he was very sad. He was very sad because God placed in the sacrifice of uh, Abel. Genesis 4, 7 we read, God said, uh, for 3 we read, uh, sorry, for 6, Genesis 4, uh, 6, the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Some people are angry. <laughs> the God is asking, why are you angry? Or why are you sad? Why has your uh, countenance fallen? Why are you angry? And why has your countenance fall, fallen? What happened to you? The Lord is asking. Then, verse 7 we read, if you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, Sin is lurking at the door. So if you are not doing good, what will happen? Sin will come. Sin means Satan will come. And he is the one tempting. And lurking at the door. Its desire is for you. But you must master it. It is very important, dear sisters and brothers. That is why many people, they can't do good. And word of God says, why you are unable to do good? If you want to do good, you have to come out of sin. Repent. That is why St. Paul says in his letter to, um, letter to Romans, chapter 7, verse 15, he says, letter to Romans 7, 15, we read, I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. I do not understand my own actions. Maybe the problem of so many people, you do not understand what you are speaking, or you do not understand what you are doing. For I do not, I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Next word we read, Romans 7, 16, we read, Now if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good. 17, but in fact, it is no longer I that do it, but the sin that dwells within me. Because of sin that dwells within me, I can't do good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I can't see good. I can't speak good because sin is in me. So what do we need? We need to repent so that you can do good. You can speak good. Think good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And truth then you will be sanctified. That is through the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I conclude that is why Jesus said, when you listen to the word of God, we are purifying. When you read the word of God, read the word of God. Take the Bible and read. At least one chapter a day. And it will sanctify you, purify you. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Every day we need a purification, sanctification. That is why Jesus said, Gospel of St. John chapter 15, 3. John 15, 3, Jesus said, you are already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. You know, if it is body, hands, you can wash with the soap and water. How can you wash your mind? It is through the word of God. 
Say Amen. Amen. That is what Jesus said. John 6, 63. John 6, 63. The word, uh, it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. Here comes the importance of Mary. She received the word. Let it be done according to your word, Mary said. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the, the Lord. angel came, she said, let it be done according to your word. And Zachariah and Elizabeth, they received this word, the promise of the Lord. That is why they are blessed with a wonderful child, John the Baptist. He was even filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. So our sisters and brothers, kindly put your hands over your chest and please close your eyes for a while and pray to Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, God, guide me. Jesus, sanctify me through your word. Your word is the truth. And give me the grace to lead a life according to the word. Give me the grace to speak the truth and to do good. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus, pray for us. We pray together one Hail Mary. Hail Mary, Hail Mary full, full of, of grace, the Lord is with you. you. Blessed are you among women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.